Today, we tour with Endro, checking out his, his area of the Minecraft server. Unfortunately, with no voice recording capabilities, Endro will just lead us around and I will do the narration for you. As you can see, this pathway built by a real genius road builder and a bridge made by a genius bridge builder leads into the area that Endro has developed. Last I was here, none of this outside stuff was here at all. And it looks like first up we've got a bit of a bonfire sort of area set up. And he's showing me his bomb. Interesting. And he's got it all fenced around the top so he doesn't have, won't have stuff dropping in for the most part, which is nice. And he's using glowstone as like lampposts, and that's a nice touch. I like that. That guest home looks excellent. I love the, the colors and the, the pine for the walls. It looks really good. Building with pine is a sign of true genius, I assure you. And you know what? We'll probably get a good look inside his head here because we'll know how he works and ticks and all that. And also discovered his choice in artwork is dubious at best. Who wants to have a creeper on your wall? Waking up to that, middle of the night, be all confused. Ugh. Not good at all. And now we go on a long, 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 long staircase trip. You see what exactly is down at the bottom. And this has got to be right down near the, the bottom of the uh, bottom of the world. It's probably just off the bedrock, judging by what I'm seeing here. And over here he's got himself his grow up. So this is how he supports his schemes. And as you see, he's done a... Done a... Uh, Jeez, I'm losing my mind. Spherical roof, which is pretty cool. And he bowed because he, because I, yeah, I don't know. This this guy is confusing. And in here is his transportation room, including portal to the Nether, and his his uh, attachment into the uh, the railway system that's been set up. However. We will not be going for a trip because that is too much work and we are here to see his specific creations, to see what he has done. And up the stairs here is what I can only assume is his bat cave. Dark roof, there's just a bed, all he needs now is, you know, everything else that goes in a bat cave. So good for him, but it needs some fleshing out. He has quite the dippy look on his face. That's coming from a guy who's using the Steve skin. Anyhow, let's go to the end, shall we? Not too far, to, just across the hallway and up some stairs in here. Well, it's a bunch of tree making stuff. That's interesting, but here is the big thing. Check out that roof. With those torches lit up, that looks awesome. And in here, he's got trees galore. This is down at the, um... This is down at, uh, you know, the lowest level, so he gets a slime. That's his pet, Pedro. He said that Pedro didn't want to play, so to leave Pedro alone and just dancing and doing his thing. And I thought, that seems odd. What, it, what, I mean, Pedro just wants to be petted, you know? It's just, it's just the slime way. When you're an adorable little slime like that, that's what you want. So he's got a walkway all around the side, around all these beautiful trees. An arboretum this far underground, and you'll notice he has grass in place. That means he brought grass down from the surface by planting dirt blocks and spiraling it all the way down so it was close enough that it would transport the grass little by little. And I'm not sure how long that took. I'm sure he'll have a comment on it at some point. But here is the view from inside, and I'm sure he gets all kinds of nice mob spawns, and even slimes. Like that adorable little guy. Hey little guy, you so pretty. How's it going? Oh, look at you. Um, why do you have a sword? No! Why would you do that? No! That poor slime. He never had a chance. Sad.